I really don't know. I watched one video, so good luck to me. I'm an idiot! I don't read directions! Dang it! Why didn't you read the directions? Because I'm not in If you are new here, my name is Brielle and this is episode 16. Don't mind my hair. I'm not really sure what's happening here. I don't even know what day of quarantine it is or what day of the week it, it is that for the, or how to English. Don't know how to do that either. Today we're going to be doing what's probably the biggest trend of quarantine and that is tie-dyeing. So I decided I wanted to do a couple different styles of tie-dye to see what I liked the best. I'm also very awkward because I'm on my patio right now and I'm nervous that my neighbors can hear me. If you've attempted to do some tie-dye and you've gone online and gone on Amazon, you've attempted to order anything to do with tie-dye, you'll realize, especially on Amazon, that it's like a three to four week wait. It took two weeks to get here, so I had to plan in advance. I was lucky enough to find two things that I wanted on Amazon, not in my size, but we'll make it work. I also ordered a pair of like Sophie shorts, you know, the ones that everyone used to wear, but like in middle school, with that like saran wrap, not saran wrap, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? I don't know, that was the thing. I ordered a pair of those shorts. I still haven't gotten them, so. It was pretty cheap. Oh my gosh. Looks like it's gonna be an oversized look. These sweatpants that I'm going to bleach dye. I also got this little t-shirt at Target for Grayson. I got myself just a plain white t-shirt because I felt like I didn't have enough things to tie dye. You know, it also might be raining. It's raining. <laughs> so there's that. Yeah, so we'll be going inside now. Bleach, towels you don't care about, tie-dye, a dispenser, articles of clothing to tie-dye. Oh, and also rubber bands. I forgot to get a clip of those. Take two. Here we are. This table is one of my favorite furniture items in this house. So if I stain it or dye it or bleach it, I'm going to be very upset. I've got a few different things that will hopefully prevent me from ruining this table. Some of you guys are going to be like, girl, you're ridiculous. On top of that, I'm gonna put this ugly towel. That is safe than sorry, honey. So I want Grayson's t-shirt to match my sweatshirt. And I might as well just do Taylor's that way too. We're just gonna go for it. Everything I've seen, you take a box. I'm using a diaper box. The method that I've seen is like a scrunching method and you kind of scrunch it into a corner. I really don't know. I watched one video, so good luck to me. Okay, this sweatshirt is gonna take up the most room. Also, glad I grabbed that. Like, whose cat hair is that from Amazon? Thank you, it was a bring your cat to work day. So this is my sweatshirt, Grayson's little shirt, and Taylor's shirt. Come here, Tay. Here are the colors I have. Denim blue, tan, charcoal gray. What I was thinking was doing the blue and the gray together. Should I do Grayson's Wait, is just this right? like a polo? Not a polo. Who wears a tie-dye polo? <laughs> it's not a polo. You gotta be a loser to wear tie-dye, and then a polo too? Everyone watching this video is watching this video because they think tie-dye is cool. You guys are cool. You're Keep rude. It up. <laughs> it's not a polo. It just like has three buttons. Literally, it was three bucks. We'll just cut it out. It'll be like a cool little cut shirt moment. I used all of this and then the rest is water. I could have really screwed this up. Some of you are probably like when I watch horror movies and you're like screaming at the girl. Don't go in there. Don't go in there. You're probably screaming at me being like, why did you do that? Don't add water. Here we are. Okay. Okay, I forgot. Dang it! What? I have to use this for the other side too. What other side? The other side of the shirt. Oh. <laughs> And look it, I used it all. Good thing I've got a little more in there. There's barely anything on their side and there's a ton on my side. But babe, that was gonna be my new shirt that I wore every day. Okay. Not. This is like purple. This is denim blue, I'm looking at it, it's freaking purple. Purple is my least favorite color. Mm. Uh, I know, that's what I'm saying. This is how they currently look. See how there's like much more white exposed than on mine. And I wanted mine barely tie dyed, so I got a little die happy there. I really wish I would have just done gray on my sweatshirt, but it's fine, I can order another one and have it come in a month and just do it again. Should I, 
I'm gonna grab something else. I have a white shirt upstairs. I'm gonna do this one with the rest of the gray, but I'm gonna try a different technique where I scrunch it like that and then put rubber bands around it. We're gonna call that good. Just shove it in that little corner there. So I already added the water first this time. Probably not enough water, but we're just gonna go with it. What the heck? Am I losing my mind? I never opened this one. And now I'm looking in at this one and there's blue and purple in there. That's supposed to be tan? That's what just came out of that bottle. Maybe it turns into tan. Maybe it starts out of that color. Dye will appear green prior to adding hot water. Why didn't you read the directions? Because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm patient, okay? So this is just bleach that I had in my laundry room. It has dust on it, so it's a little old. Don't know if it's gonna work as good. This is a very small container, but I was really worried about bleach getting out. That looks good to me. Literally just shoved it in there. Oh, I can already see it pulling out. I'm literally, this is probably the one I'm most excited for. Okay, let's flip. Can you guys see that, the red coming through? Maybe I should have used bleach and water. I also think it's like soaking in the bottom a little bit, which I don't really like, because I don't want all. Oops, let me put some rubber bands around it, and then I'm gonna bring it upstairs in my bathtub and let it sit. You know I'm not wearing this, right? It's so cute on you. I gotta go. <laughs> Can you pose? Um, oh, so sweet. Oh, we gotta get both angles. Can you show them your silly face? my tie-dye, I'd probably say tie-dye fails video. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. You wanna get down? Down. Down, okay, say bye-bye. Bye. If you guys liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. Hit that subscribe button while you're down there. Now that I actually know how to tie-dye and I read the instructions, maybe I should do this again. So if you think that would be a video that you'd be interested in, Comment down below and let me know. I hope you guys have a blessed week and I'll see you guys next Friday. Bye.